Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone, who definitely rule well, who taught us 100% truth of the scriptures. And honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in season, out of season, week in, week out, sincerity and truth. <coughs> yeah, I got entitled this one, man. Messing with these people. Messing with these people, man. You know, you're fooling around, messing with these people. You're gonna find yourself in a in a in a hey. What the scripture say in second nudges? You're gonna find yourself held in derision. Okay? With shame and contempt. And these people, of course, I'm talking about are these these elites amongst the E's, these E's, man, these Edomites, the elites amongst them. Who carry the full spirit of Esau Edom. It's kind of like how uh, how the scriptures say they're not all of Israel. That's of Israel. Now, they're, they're Israelite by blood, but their actions makes them as a, as a heathen. Well, you got these Edomites. Well, Edomites are blood by blood, and they have the power to continue to uh, live out that perpetual hatred. But then you got your six-pack Joes, who they don't have no power. They're two-time losers, so they're going around crouching. So they're trying to be cool. But that's why I like an Edomite that, you know, is uh, that's, that's fully on display, so to speak. Just like how we're Israelites that are fully on display. We're Israelites by blood and by our actions, as you see, how we walk with faith and not by sight. Lord willing, you know, that makes sense. So anyhow, let me get my first scripture. And as you can see here, I got this lesson here on YouTube. Oh, let me see. This, this is what it's called. The C1 to the 9V Injury Compilation. Woo! And, you know, as I'm watching, I'm just like, dang. See? messing with these people that's what you're going to get because we know exactly who they are so this is deuteronomy 28 and 48 it says therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies which the lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee He's caused by. so we're gonna go to him, but for one of all things. But see, you you have we have to be awakened. We have to have the spirit dwelling with us to know where it ends. Because yeah, we're gonna go to him to, to to his stores to to get food, to get water. Yeah, we're gonna go to his stores to get clothing. All right, and we're gonna try and keep. Well, we're definitely gonna keep it. You don't want to go to the store right now and um. Just buy something without mixed fabric. You want to look to see if it's one fabric. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go to him for, for all these things that we need. But when it comes, even to health, even, even certain health issues, we're going to have to go to him. You know, I had somebody t tell me that before. So because he knew I'm against moles. So let me tell you this. If, you if your house is on fire, you know, there's a bunch of moles. Would would you still want them to put the fire out? I mean, yeah, but that's not gonna stop uh, 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 the heavenly Father from doing what He do, and that's not gonna sway us to stop thinking in the ways of the heavenly Father, man. So that's just a sad, pitiful excuse. <laughs> Maybe you mow yourself, man. You gotta watch, watch, man. Maybe you mow yourself. Or, but then again, you know, you got family. You got family that we trying to look out for, too. So, anyway, let me get my next scripture. Because, yeah, we know where to draw the line at. When it comes to going to our enemy for one of all things. We know when to apply wisdom. Unlike the rest of our people. A lot of our people. 
who fell for the beat. Now, let me get the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And who's the enemy? You got to read the book of Psalms, chapter 83. Okay, con. So, like, yeah, I got a call, had to pause it, but anyway, let's get right back into it. Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. See that? And right, once again, Psalms 83 shows forth our enemies. All right, who they are. And the first one is Esau, Edom. This is something we can never forget, man. To forget that and to not know that is to, to, to you, you put yourself in a very vulnerable spot, as these people have. Trusting in this damn devil, man. So it says to never trust them. Here it is. They try and uh, poison us as it is with the food, with the water. Okay? But nowadays they want to actually... You want to actually take... Take something within you? Oh, no. Nah, hell no, nah, man. Oh, hell no. Nah. So the scripture said that the Lord is a man of war. And, you, and we have enemies, man. So why would you set yourself up in that situation? To hell with these with these fucking people, man. So real quick, let me jump to another scripture in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 2, verse 12. See, this is why you need the Lord's guidance, man. You try and figure things out on your own. You try and do your own thing. Then you, uh, um, you step out from being under the shadow of the Almighty. But if we want to be under the shadow of the Almighty, then we have to follow His ways completely, man. And that blesses us with the knowledge, wisdom, and the understanding, and the faith to be able to move out here, man. So this is Wisdom of Solomon two and twelve says. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous. See, the mindset of the wicked. They want to lie and wait for the righteous. Those that fully believe in Yahweh Shemashah. That believe in being an Israelite. Which was, which is our, our culture, our heritage, our blood. Our bloodline. They lie and wait for us. You know, they're constantly, you know we're constantly in their mind. So that they can uh, uh, um, get uh, get us in trouble, pretty much, get us out out from teaching our people, and waking our people up to the truth. Okay, and some of them is going. Some of our people is going is going. Um, they going to ride with E. They ride or die for E. But that's why we know that this is only for the hopeful elect, man. This is it's a it's like a lonely road, man. Well, that's why it says, and in, in, in also in the apocrypha, like a like a drop is compared to a wave. That's how many is gonna be destroyed compared to how many is gonna be saved. So we are, man, we are truly like one small drop, like an eye drop. That's how small, extremely, extremely, extremely small, the true worshippers are, because that's what's gonna be saved, man. The true worshippers. Man, I wish I said that, man. The times come when the true worshippers shall worship Yahweh Shemashah. So the true worshippers that are going to be saved is a very, very, extremely small group of them. Just, just matter of fact, matter of fact, man. Real quick, so like it for my 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 my, my rant low on edifying. Just look, uh, I'm in a Jersey camp, right? How many brothers is, is, is about in the Jersey camp, man? I, I can't even uh, number it, man. Let's just say, I can sit and really think, but let's just real quick, let's just say like it's like 11 of us, right? How many how many people live in the state of New Jersey, man? You know? That's just that's something worth looking up. Right? But let's just figure, man. Well, you don't really got to gotta look it up. Because, because we know the, 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 you know the point that's trying to be made. There's like 11 brothers in the Jersey camp. 
It's probably, I can't even tell you how many people live in the state of New Jersey. Okay, probably what, a mi million? And out of all, and out of, out of the million, how many are Israelites? Not, and out of all them Israelites that live in the state of New Jersey, only like 11 of them, <laughs> 11 out of, out of like a million, go out there in the highways and byways? Come on, man, for real. That's how you know this is, is, is a very, very, very small, small few. Let's look at a state-by-state state breakdown, man. How many people live in New York? Right? And how many how many go out week in, week out? Maybe it's like, what, 150 of them? Out of the millions and millions of people that live in New York? Come on, man. So that's why I was like, man, it's, it's a lonely road, man. When you when you because we, we we don't hang out every single day. We disperse throughout the week and we on our own. It's a lonely road out here, man. But let me get back into the scriptures, man. Then you got those that even do go out, right? Because you got you got the you got the other camps that go out, but they're not holding it to the full expectations and the full standard of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. Which means what? They're not, they're not truly being obedient to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And if you're not being truly obedient, then the Lord ain't gonna save you, man. The Lord said what? Is is he told Saul, right? That it's, it's better it's better to obey than to sacrifice. So the Lord's with those that obey. Okay? So I'll say eleven that have the hundred percent truth of the scriptures, man. That's a lot, kid. I'm just tired of this shit, man. This is it's hard of this place, yo. It's hard of every everybody that ain't in this truth, yo. So let me get back. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter two, verse twelve. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. Yeah, you damn straight. You out here trying to make pedos le legal. You out here trying to uh, uh, have this alphabet community flourish. You know. You just full. You just matter of fact. The scripture's gonna say it. It says, and he is clean contrary to our doings. Exactly. You're clean. That's because you're clean contrary to the doings of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. We constantly bringing out the Bible, constantly bringing our scriptures, so you know that we live by the scriptures to the best of our ability. And we realize that the way you live is completely opposite to the scriptures, man. And the scriptures say that this is. That this is the way of life, man. So your ways is, are the ways of death. So you're clean contrary to the doings of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Now, because you're clean contrary to the doings of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, we're not gonna be uh, 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 we're not gonna be tied up in, in something this deep like this unto you, because we know that you're opposite of the Lord. So we're not going to have our, our heart um, um, in what you have to say. We're going to go our own way, do our own thing, man. And this is Ecclesiastes 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man. See? And we don't have to we don't have to be continually with them in the flesh. We could be continually with a godly man by constantly watching their lessons. Like the Apostle and the Elders of Great Millstone. Every time we tune in, we're, we're, we're continually with them. We're continually with them in the spirit and, and, and on the net. That's what we're going to follow, man. That's what we're going to follow to, to what they have to say. The apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders of Israel. We're not going to follow what you say because what you say is contrary to the Lord. And we fear the Lord. So we're going to be continually with somebody that fears the Lord. right? Which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders on the earth right now. It says, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. See? So we're going to constantly uh, follow after who we think is going to help lead us to the kingdom. And the damn sure ain't Esau Edom. You know, these uh, so-called plantation Christianity, you ain't getting led to nowhere except for the, for a sea hip in your damn head. 
in a, in a lake of fire when them chariots come and when the missiles are shot off. That's the only place you're getting led to. Because you're not even you're not even on game to who the wicked is, man. So this is Psalm 74. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. See? So the Most High ain't in all his devil thoughts, man. So that, therefore, why are we going to follow somebody like that? Why are we going to listen to somebody like that in a dire situation like this? You're going to listen to somebody who the Most High is not even in his thoughts? No, nah, man, I don't think so. We're going to listen to somebody who's, who's who's constantly in the spirit. All right, so, hey, it's a lonely road, man. It's a lonely road. It truly is to, to the hopeful elect that enters into the kingdom. So, Lord, was edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.